The yen was up and the Swiss franc was flat against the U.S. dollar into the European close on Tuesday while the rest of the currencies were down. The price action made sense with the buck still in demand but accompanied by risk-off flow which accounted for the stronger performance in the yen and franc. Italian political drama was the primary source of the latest run of euro declines to fresh 2018 lows with the market also clearing some major stops below the November 2017 base at 115.55 along the way. This was a drag on the broader financial market with fear of systemic risk associated with Italy and Spain as well, weighing on the pound to its fresh 2018 low as UK traders contemplated uncertainty around Brexit. With Italy's fate less clear at the moment, Italian bonds have plummeted, resulting in the two-year yield rallying to its highest level on record. Strong U.S. consumer confidence at the highest levels in three months and talk of month-end dollar demand also added to the dollar's bid. Still, with both the euro and pound declining against the dollar by over 10 big figures off their respective yearly highs and with the pound accomplishing this in a very short span since mid-April, there is risk building for a sizable reversal the other way given short-term technical extension. These markets have also dropped back into meaningful support zones where a return of sizable demand would not be shocking and with the fundamentals feeling like they are overstacked to the dollar side, there is a sense that any catalyst could be used as an excuse to start selling the dollar again. As far as Wednesday risk goes, key standouts come in the form of the RBNZ Financial Stability Report, Aussie Building of Permits, German Retail Sales, CPI and Employment, Eurozone Confidence Readings, US ADP Employment, GDP, Personal Consumption and Trade, and a Bank of Canada Policy Decision. That's all for now.